You're watching F1 2022 Technical Analysis, brought to you by Aramco. If you were to describe a Formula 1 car to someone who had never seen one before, what would be its defining characteristics? Most likely, it wouldn't be long before you talked about the exposed wheels. The regulations have stipulated cars should be open wheelers ever since 1961, yet F1 plans to change that thanks to the possible introduction of standard specification wheel arches as early as the second half of 2023. And it's all because of what have been described by the FIA as the scars of Spa 2021, the infamous Grand Prix that never happened. At least, not really, given a few laps behind the safety car as a box ticking exercise hardly counts as a race. The F1 Commission recently announced that studies into introducing wheel arches for use in wet conditions started some time ago. The regulations are far from finalised, but it's hoped that a design can be found that will reduce the amount of spray produced by cars in wet conditions by as much as 50%. That should mean more green flag racing, less chance of a Sunday washout and happier drivers. In this video, we'll explain the plan in detail, ask whether it can really work, and look at what else is being done to ensure there's more action when it's raining. Following complaints from drivers that the spray thrown up in wet conditions has got even worse under the 2022 ground effect regulations, F1 launched a study into the possibility of introducing what is described as a standard bodywork kit. This would be fitted to the car in extreme wet conditions, in a plan revealed by a statement issued following a recent meeting of the F1 Commission. Effectively, this means bolt-on wheel arches, which evokes images of the mudguards used on caterums, or the wheel covers of the Gen 2 Formula E car that will be ditched when the Gen 3 car is introduced for the next season of the All-Electric Championship. So for the first time since the 1950s, we would see closed wheel F1 cars, even if only when it's raining. Several manufacturers produced streamliner machinery with enclosed wheels in that era. The most famous, and by far the most successful of these, was the Mercedes W196 Streamliner that was used on circuits that featured significant straights such as Rams and Monza. But such closed wheel F1 cars were rare. Adding wheel arches to the car would be a bold step for F1, but it is important to stress that this would only be temporary. The wheel arches would be fitted before a wet race or a practice or qualifying session, and could also be added during a red flag should rain hit when the cars are running. These wheel arches would contain some of the water that would otherwise be thrown into the air behind the car, creating the famous rooster tails. According to the head of the FIA F1 technical department, Nicholas Tombasis, the intention is that the wheel arches would only be necessary perhaps two or three times a year in the worst of conditions. This season there have been four rain affected races and certainly Monaco and Japan, and perhaps Singapore, would have benefited from the wheel arches. The intent is not, according to Tom Bassis, to use the wheel arches every time there's a drop of rain, but in more extreme wet conditions, because it would be almost irresponsible to allow another race to be lost to heavy rain. The FIA has yet to reveal any of its mooted designs, but it hopes to have a concept in place ready to be tested in the first part of next year. To give you some idea of roughly what they might look like, our technical illustrator Rosario Giuliana has drawn up his own interpretation. If successful and accepted by the teams, although it is possible they could be forced through on safety grounds, Tom Bassis believes that the wheel arches could even be ready for the second half of 2023, meaning that they might be available for the Belgian Grand Prix at the end of July. However, 2024 is perhaps a more likely timescale. The idea of using wheel arches to contain at least some of the water, and remember, even closed wheel racing cars produce plenty of spray, is a logical enough one. The question is whether the FIA and F1 can hit upon a design that works in the real world. Progress is a race that has no end. After every finish line, another challenge awaits. How can Aramco continue to push innovation in a sport at the forefront of technology? This is how. Discover how Aramco and the Aston Martin Formula 1 team aim to meet Formula 1 sustainable fuel targets. Aramco, powered by How. The FIA has already come up with some promising directions thanks to the ongoing study into reducing the spray. Tom Bassis believes it is possible to reduce this by as much as 50%. This is based on work done in CFD that has trialled various geometries of wheel arches along with simulation of the rain droplets to evaluate the impact on the spray. 
However, although confidence is high for a big improvement, one thing that isn't yet fully understood is how much of the spray is produced by the rotating wheels and how much is flung behind the car by the diffuser. Given the powerful underfloors of the 2022 cars and the fact drivers claim the problem is worse this year, it appears the diffuser is a major contributing factor when it comes to the spray. F1 team technical personnel the race has spoken to certainly believe that's the case. So there is still some work to be done. Consideration must also be given to the aerodynamic impacts of the wheel covers, given the cars will be designed to run without them. A single specification design might affect different cars in different ways. Our resident XF1 technical director Gary Anderson believes it would be more sensible to create tight regulations that allow teams to create their own wheel arches. What's more, there are also question marks about the extent to which they might hinder pit stops. This is an area the F1 Commission has stated is being evaluated, along with other considerations such as the possibility of placing additional rain lights on the cars to make them easier to spot. But while the FIA is confident the idea will work, there are legitimate question marks about whether containing more of the spray could reduce the effectiveness of cars at clearing the water from the track. This might increase the risk of aquaplaning, which is already high in these cars, as Carlos Sainz learned when he crashed on the opening lap of the Japanese Grand Prix in the wet at Suzuka. It won't be until the team's first run prototype versions of these wheel arch kits that we'll get clear feedback on how well they will work. Introducing wheel arches to reduce spray is just one way the FIA hopes to improve wet racing in F1. There's also a push to increase the available grip in such conditions. After the recent Japanese Grand Prix, drivers criticised the performance of the Pirellis and Max Verstappen stressed the need for improved wet weather tyres. He compared the performance of modern F1 cars in those conditions unfavourably with F1 in the 1990s and early 2000s with cars that could race in the wet given so little actual green flag running now happens on the full wet tyres. Fortunately, the FIA was listening. Although currently the same wet and intermediate tyres will be used in 2023, it's only the slicks that are changing, Pirelli is now permitted to conduct some extra testing over the winter to work on improved wets in particular. In total, six tests will be held, split between wet and intermediate running, and the first track tests of the prototype 2024 slick tyres. The aim is to improve the performance of the wet, which could mean changes to the construction compound and tread pattern. But intermediates will also be part of the test programme, given the desire for all-round improvements, with a focus on improving the warm-up characteristics. Pirelli is also taking an interest in the wheel arch proposal. However, its head of F1, Mario Isola, warned that if running in extreme wet conditions is made possible by the introduction of wheel arches, it will require changes to the tyres. That's because Pirelli knows that visibility currently makes running in extreme wet conditions impossible anyway. So that's another obstacle that stands in the way of the FIA's ambition to introduce wheel arches during 2023. That means that, most likely, it won't be until 2024 at the earliest that we could see F1 cars running with spray-reducing devices in wet conditions. And with fears that it's the diffuser that contributes significantly to the spray, it might be the case that F1 needs some other ideas if it really is to dramatically improve the visibility for drivers in extreme wet conditions. Thanks for watching F1 2022 Technical Analysis, brought to you by Aramco.